Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. I was raised by wolves. Hyenas. They had to get it. They had to get it. That's why my face is scrunched up. And next time you want, you want to get out your black, you want to go, I'm going to get out here and I'm going to be black and I'm going to have to, I'm going to show you who I is. Show me! Let's just say you beat me up. Let's just say, you know what, Stephen A. Smith whooped my ass. I'm not, I'm, I'm, what you gonna do about Willie D? Willie D, Willie, Willie D, fighting his sleep. You knock me out, here come Willie D, straight from Popeye's. And you say, who did he fight in this sleep, boy? I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for you. Because this is a culture but we're all individuals. I was raised in the culture, nigga. I was raised in it, nigga. All of it. The only reason they feel the way that they feel about OJ is because OJ is a black man, one of the very few in the history of this country who was accused of killing white people and got off. Yeah, nah, that's what this is really about. That's right. That's what this is really about. Because there have been a whole lot of white people who have killed white people in this country and got off. And they've never had that same energy for those people. You know what they say? Well, you know, I believe he was guilty. Um, you know, but, you know, a uh, jury of his peers acquitted him. They saw it differently, and we just have to respect the jury's decision. Um, our system is not perfect, but it's the only system that we have. That's what they say. But for some reason, they can't let it go. It's OJ. They can't let it go. For some reason. One of the names you called me. You called me a monkey. If you're wondering why I closed my eyes just now, it's because I did a quick prayer and I get in your ass. And I won't. You see, a lot of times people look and they look at certain people and they think you're supposed to be scared or whatever, you know. And, um... It's not whether you can win or lose in a fight. It's not whether you can get harmed or not. It's what you're willing to get harmed for. Wow. Check it, man. It's your boy, ECEO, the check it man himself back in the building. Listen, I'm going to be real with you, man. I talked about this the other day. Stephen A. Smith, man, I don't know. I, cause I think he's out of his league dealing with these guys from what he spoke on. And I don't think these guys, you know, are wrong. Uh, Willie D, Phase on Love, as you already know, Phase on Love and me partner. So at some point I could actually bring him on the show and just have, hear from him. He's my guy. So at the end of the day, I talked to him yesterday, the day before yesterday. And just a dope dude, man. But. Ain't playing no games, like I said. Ain't playing no games, man. Stephen A. Smith, like I said, he been jumping out the gym. Uh, I seen where some of his fans had turned on him, some of his followers or whatnot, uh, over this OJ thing. This OJ thing is really, really, really uh, a touchy situation when the man just passed away. So it's a trip, but what my boy face on say, hypothetically, if you was to whoop me, then you got, you see <laughs> Willie D coming from the chicken house and or from Popeyes and then you had to deal with him and he fights daily or he is a fighter. 
He's been known for fighting. Um, he's definitely one of those guys that you don't want to. You can ask them New York dudes, man. It went crazy back in the days. Everybody know it. It was wild. Uh, he was in the boxing ring with one of them. We all know the story if you hold a guy like us. So Stephen A., I'm pretty sure, knows this story. But Stephen A.'s doing the Internet thing. So this Internet thing is different. Stephen A. going to sit over where he's sitting at, hope like hell he don't run into Willie D. and try to figure out ways to be creative with the way he's dealing with this online beef. Hopefully this thing don't get out of hand. Uh, I definitely don't want to see these brothers, all three of these black guys, you know, uh, into it like this. You know, you know me, I'm man trying to figure out a way to keep everybody, to keep the peace. But Stephen A. Smith, man, like I said, since these podcast things been happening, he was a hell of a journalist before talking about everybody in the league. And a lot of people didn't like the way he spoke on things back then. But now he's he's coming to a forefront where he's getting into these avenues where you start to deal with different people that may be in hip hop, that may be in just podcasting all together, that may be in comedy, and he's focused enough to say, I'm gonna do this, and I guess that's how he, he going out. But I just say, man, be careful out here because the same people that you're talking about on this internet, you may end up having to face. So I know, I mean, face on hopefully it'll give him a pass. Because I don't think Stephen Bill like that. But he said he prayed that he didn't do something to one of these folks. That he didn't do something with it to get on his ass. Like he was really that guy. Like I don't know if he's serious or what. I don't know his background. Maybe he knows some type of Taekwondo or Kung Fu. or He knows something. But I don't know him. as I've never seen his track record of fighting. Somebody get in the comments. Let me know. Is Stephen A a fighter that I didn't realize? Maybe he's this big fighter. And maybe he's the type of guy that will bring it, bring it to you. You don't never know. His hometown, he might be that guy. He might be the one that used to steal off on dudes, you know. Y'all, you know, I'm always just steal off on dudes. That's what they do. They steal off, bop, 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 and get back. He might be the one for everybody. I don't know. But you've seen Faison. You've seen him at the airport. And you've seen Willie D in the ring. I had not seen Stephen A. Smith. Somebody tell me. Get in the comments. Let me know. If you've seen Stephen A. Smith in battle, because it seemed like this thing keeps going and going and going. I want to see the things ends. I'm probably going to call my boy Faze on a day, to be honest with you. Just say, hey, man, what's going on over there? That's how I talked to him. He was in good spirits. I talked to him the day when I dropped the, uh, the other one and uh, just to see what was going on with it. That's my guy, like I said. And he's been on the show more than probably than a lot of people that come on my show, but he definitely... He's, he's definitely a guy that don't, he's a non-tolerance guy when he, if you cross him the wrong way. I do know that, and he, he stepped like a stepper, so I know a stepper when I see one, so he ain't playing out here. Uh, I just say, man, be ready for anything, man, if that's what you're doing, but I don't really want to see these brothers come to blows like that, man. I don't want to see it. But y'all let me know, is this thing going to get out of hand? Uh, Stephen A. Smith act like he want to get out there with them boys, man. I ain't never heard this. If anybody knows track record, too, let me know, man. Get in the comment. Let me know. Will Stephen A. Smith get out there? And I mean get out there. Check it, man. Do that nigga got some bob and weave game? But what? Act. He got some overs and unders. He roll them up. He, what What he do? Check it, man. Boss Talk 101, man. Make sure you like, subscribe, share my stuff, man. What a boss is talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see.